In Creo Parametric 12, there are a bunch of enhancements related to visibility. In this video, we will take a look at three of them. Starting off here in part mode, a bunch of icons have enhanced tooltips. You can see that they are much more graphical. So for example, here we can see split trim body. Let me go over the plane icon. Let me jump over to sketch, extrude, shell, pattern, trim, offset, split, and so on. So you can see that we have much more descriptive images showing what the commands do. For the second option, in the In Graphics toolbar, there is a new command, and you can see that there is the little blue triangle on the upper corner, and this is for showing or hiding the tangent edges. So if you take a look at this part model, there are a bunch of different tangent edges. If I click on it, it turns them off, turn them back on, and so you can toggle that so you can control the display of your models. There is a config.pro option associated with this. Let me go to File, Options, Options, and then I'll choose Configuration Editor. Let's use the Find button. I'm going to search on the keyword Tangent, hit the Enter key, and let me make this a little bit wider. And so right in the middle there, you can see that there is one with an indented description. Here we have shade with edge tangent. The default value is yes, but you can change that to no. So let's close out of the options dialog box. For the next option, let's jump over to part or to an assembly. And so here I have a milling machine assembly and a bunch of the components have been hidden. So for example, if I go to my layer tree, here are the hidden items. A bunch of stuff is not visible. Now in Creo 12, there is a quick way of toggling between different visibility settings. And it just makes it a lot faster rather than, you know, hiding a bunch of different components and maybe going into the view manager and creating a new simplified rep for excluded components or maybe creating a new layer state. And also sometimes you don't want to make modifications to the model just for looking at it in different states. So once again, right now I have a bunch of components visible. From this icon in the In Graphics toolbar, we can capture the visibility. There's also an icon for this on the View tab over here. And again, we have those blue triangles indicating that this is new functionality in Creo Parametric 12. But anyhow, let me use this icon to capture the visibility. And then I'm going to turn on the display of all the components. Let's unhide all. And so now we can see everything, a whole bunch of stuff that wasn't visible. And so if I ever want to go back to that visibility that I had captured, well, I can just toggle the visibility. So here we have the toggle visibility command from the in graphics toolbar. I'll choose that and it will go back to that state that I had captured. If I click on toggle again, hey, it goes back to the one that I was on, toggle again. And so this is just very quick and easy for going back and forth between different visibility states. And you can always capture a new visibility state that you want to toggle on and off later on. So there you have it, three enhancements related to visibility in Creo Parametric 12.